Hello and welcome back to Oxycraft. The last time we were here, we were working on the castle and man. You know, I said last time that YouTube videos are fun because if there's anything I need to do in the meantime, if I find half an hour spare, I can do some. I got, I got carried away, okay? Um, I did a little bit more than I, I planned to. <laughs> um, so we'll go check on that in a minute. I'm just doing some fishing at the moment. Uh, I was actually hoping to find one of the new, en shut up dog. One of the new en uh, enchantments, the mending one. Let me take my bed with me. I'm over by Tom's place at the moment. Tom has uh, got his f uh, first videos up as well. And so is Shroom, but he hasn't got the ones where he's building this place. And I'm really excited to see that. So I won't show that off too much because I know he'll be, uh, I'm sure he'll be putting that in one of his videos, but Guys, if you aren't already, uh, it's definitely worth going and watching some of these guys. I know Shroom had a couple of the, I say new, they're not new if you already knew the Hobbycraft stuff, but they're new if you've been just watching my stuff. So some of the new guys get introduced there, so it'd be cool to uh, to see what's going on. I don't know what, ah, there's a sign, let's go find out. I don't know whose this is or what's going on here, but I definitely want to know. I definitely want to know who's this is. Here's the problem with uh, these servers, it's hard to tell who's done, I hate you. I hate you so much. I think that might actually be Island of Nick. Hi, Nick. I think this might actually be the one because this here's the spawn um, just over this hill. And this was the first thing I ran at. I think I told you guys last time. First thing I did was ran at this horse and it exploded and, and tried to kill me. Should we fight it? Should we see if it happens? Let's do it. It's going to be just fine. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Oh, okay. Well, now I just feel terrible. But yeah, I, I've been doing quite a bit. We've been uh, moving for resources really quickly. Uh, I did a lot of mining. Um, we had a lot of diamonds and, and cool shiny things. Uh, but yeah, I've managed to make my way through most of those now, which is a bit of a shame, but at least they've gone to a good cause. I've also been trying to save up my levels. Now, let me show you a few things we've done back at our small house over, over this side. I don't think there's been too much progress in the groundwork around it, but... Um, this place is going okay. I've been working with my cows, doing a thing. You know how it is. Um, but I've also put together this thing just inside here, which I was very excited to use. I couldn't wait to finally get some good enchantments on my tools. I had 30 levels. Um, if you remember the last episode, I died. But then I spent weeks, well, not weeks, um, days, getting those 30 levels back, which is great. And then I realized if I wanted to enchant two things, I'd need 33. So I was greedy, okay? I was greedy. I went for those other three levels and I died. <laughs> I lost them all again. So we're back to 13. I'm tempted just to enchant maybe the fishing rod, try and get luck or something like that. But do you know what? Actually, no, let's just do it. Let me find a lapis. Is lapis going to be downstairs? Let's just do it. Is there anything here I need as well? Probably. There's always stuff I need. I need so many resources. I really should have waited until I've settled on the server to start building. It's fine. I've gone through so much stuff you wouldn't believe. I dug out a lot of andesite, which is why there's a lot of holes here. Um, and Shroom actually traded me a couple of stacks of andesite. I, I think it was from leather. I don't remember what it was for now. Um, that didn't last a second, man. <laughs> I thought, when he threw them to me, I was really excited. I thought, oh, there's loads here. I was very excited. How are these still burning? I must have unloaded them, I guess, when I when I moved. What was I even doing? Lapis, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, he gave me a couple of stacks, and I was very excited. You know, I thought, maybe finally. I had a good bow, that would be that one. Let's try and enchant a bow as well. Let's see how well that goes. I thought I'd get a lot of progress done with it. Um... But it turns turns out maybe not so much. I got um, one side of the wall done. <laughs> well, just the andesite part, so not even that much at all. But it's whatever. Let's uh, let's see what we can get. Power one. It's not really anything special. I mean, we've got power three. We can do with repairing that. But, but there you go. Luck of the sea. If I had thirty, ah, that's kind of what I want as well. This was sharpness four. Yeah, it still is. I haven't actually enchanted anything yet. I'm breaking three. I'm a little bit worried about that, so I probably wouldn't do that. I'm breaking three, yeah. Maybe we won't enchant just yet. I didn't get much from um, from fishing in the end. I did get a few levels, though, so I can't be too mad. But let's throw that stuff in. Maybe not this one. This place is a mess, man. I really need to start um, taking care of my, my spaces. Actually, I need these. I've spent quite a while getting oak logs. So there we go. Let's head back over to the other side. Now, people are building quite rapidly, actually. A lot of cool things are going up. I went on an adventure yesterday to drop off uh, some slime balls to the Waffle Man and uh, Major. And it's actually not that far away, I found out the hard way. I went off I went off in that direction, around the back of the hill and all the way around there. It's actually just that way, just outside where my castle place build is. 
Um, so it's not even that far, but there's a lot of cool things popping up, so I'm trying to keep an eye out for them. Um, but I'm going to have to try and compile a list for you guys of, of everyone else who's making videos on, on the server. Um, so you guys can uh, head over and watch those and their perspectives as well, because there, there definitely will be some things coming up soon uh, as a joint venture. But yeah, this this build over here is um, is going well. It's going well. But I'm starting to find not problems as such, just things I've overlooked. Now, having a giant build like this was a good idea for me because it meant there was always something for me to be doing. And I thought that would be great because that means, you know, whenever I come to do a video, it doesn't matter how much I've done in between the videos, there would be something for me to do. Um, but as it turns out, <laughs> a lot of this stuff uh, isn't overly exciting. Right, I'm going to try and stick to this wall so I don't spoil anything too quickly. One thing you'll notice straight off is this bit here. Now, I have gone ahead and brought that whole hill forward like I said it would. Um, but yeah, so before I turn the corner, um, I did, like I said, I got carried away. Um, and I, I built a lot. <laughs> But yeah, I've, I've brought all of this forward now, so it kind of fits, and when the tower goes in, it should work out just fine. I've got to do this area here, um, which I will get to, but it's, it's a piece at a time at the moment. Piece at a time. But yeah, so this is what's going down. Um, I was growing a lot of these trees, and we got some really cool ones, so I kind of just left them. I felt bad about cutting. They're all under here. I don't know if you guys remember, I left a big gap under the, under the floor, and I regret it now, because it doesn't let me sleep a lot of the time. But yes. This is what's going on. So let me show you around. Let me show you what this is all this is all about. Now this isn't completed. Obviously, there's still some stuff to go on, and there's dirt everywhere and, and things. Um, but let me just uh, I don't need to go up there to show you. Let me just show you what's going on. So this is the wall design. Um, this this from this here to this here. This is the wall design. I'm going to try and uh, keep repeating. I'm I'm I, I'm quite happy with it. Now what I found is that the diorite adds quite a lot of texture without adding too much color. Um, which makes these kind of a bit, they stand out a little bit much. So I'm wondering whether I should change the um, the wood on those, maybe to match the windows. Probably would make sense. But one thing I am starting to run into now, I knew how wide the pattern was. So it actually did quite a bit of math to uh, figure out how many walls I needed in certain places and how many blocks, and that's how I got this plan. But I've kind of not messed up, just miscalculated whereabouts these would go. So I've actually got gaps like this now, which is not necessarily a gap, it is how it should meet. But uh, the wall would need to be back one, but then that would move everything else. So it's kind of awkward. This side just kind of worked, and I'm not really sure. I guess I just, hmm. Let me grab some stone brick and try and fill that in, actually. Let's, let's give that a go. I think all I've done is fill that, that side bit in. Do I have any stairs? No, maybe, no, maybe, yes, I knew I did. Also, one thing to say as well, if things sound a little bit different, if they sound a little bit more echoey, I've, I've tried a new thing. Um, I don't know if any of you guys remember, I did tell you about this a little while back. Yeah, see, that does help it blend quite a lot without it standing out, so that's probably all we'll need to do, so maybe that whole crisis is averted already. Um, I told you I was building a little tent. Um, <laughs> if, if, you, if those of you who, who don't remember, I, had, I quite literally had um, a large blanket and I would put it over my head and then over the monitors in front of me, if that makes sense. Because the room I'm in is, you know, there's quite a lot of stuff in here, but it's still very, very echoey. So it, it needed to be sorted because otherwise things don't sound great. I mean, if you go back to watch the first videos we did, or if you watch the moving vlog that I did um, when I got here, I, it was kind of uh, echoey, to say the least. So that was solving it, but now <laughs> it's just getting too hot in there. And it's very uncomfortable and it falls down a lot and it just makes a mess. So I found another way of doing it and I think it solved it mostly. It's not quite as good, quite as efficient um, as last time. There we go. But uh, it works and I'm kind of happy with it. So we're gonna roll with it and we'll see how well it goes. Let's get this bed back out of here. I should really leave that down, because then when I die, I respawn here. I keep dying, man, it's so horrible. But yeah, so that's what's going on with the walls. There's a fair pattern, and, and do you know what? That does link quite well. I mean, it, it blends through well enough uh, for me to be happy with it. This here is just for me to go through and get up. I keep pressing C, thinking I'm gonna zoom in. Let me take you inside then, and let me take you around the tower. So at the moment, it is just a pillar of dirt. Now this will change, this is what I mean. There is a lot to be doing. 
Detailing and stuff is gonna take me a long time. This whole thing has taken me a long time and I've got a tower and half of two walls. I'm still working on the back of these because I am coming across a lot of issues with the actual terrain. Now I knew there'd be a lot of landscaping and that's fine, I don't mind doing it. But I'm coming across a lot of issues like this where I've had to pull the, the hill back quite a bit, but it's still not enough and I don't wanna move the terrain too much. I'm kind of okay with it like this. It's not so bad when it's um, when it's covering over a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure that out as we go. Um, that's something that I'm just going to keep doing uh, off off video, which I think was actually what I was halfway through saying, and I don't remember finishing that conversation. What I was saying earlier about how this was sounded like a good idea as we were coming up there um, was because there'd always be something to do, but that's something to do uh, isn't necessarily always interesting for videos. So we're going to kind of see how this goes and see what we can do with it. But here you go. This is the tower. This is one of the towers. Now, there are going to be quite a few of these, uh, and they aren't all going to be the same. They're going to be slightly different. Oh, wait, hold up. <coughs> it's okay. I sneezed. I'm not dead. I'm alive, probably. These are the towers we're going with. And uh, now, some of these are going to be bigger than others. Some of these are going to be slightly differently detailed to others. Um, I have got a few uh, cool designs and ideas that I've, that I feel come up with, with lighting and extra things that go on these. I'm also not sure about having that layer mirrored. Um, I've put in the wrong doors on some of these, so it it does look kind of off. I don't know how I feel about it mirroring it, so we'll, we'll kind of figure that out as well. Um, some of these, there's definitely bad stuff under here. Where are you? <gasps> oh, I remember those guys. I remember locking those guys in. I don't want to go under there anymore. Let's Let's pretend that isn't there. Some of these will have roofs on them, some of them will have cone roofs, uh, some of them will just have these flat parts. There is also to be another tower in the centre, I say, well, just off centre, probably about here-ish, which will go a little bit higher than everything else, and I'm thinking of making that into some sort of observatory, maybe with a little telescope, well, quite a big telescope most probably. Will you start, man? Where are you? I will find you. There's a lot of weird stuff under these floors, where <laughs> I've been really lazy putting this together. Where are you? You're here. No? Make a noise. Oh wait, my headphones are on backwards. Over here. Hmm. Here, here, wait. I don't, I'll do this another day. But yeah, that's what we've got going on with the tower. So that's coming along quite nicely. And then that just leaves these bridges, um, which will be connecting uh, all of the towers together. They will be accessible. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with them as such at the moment. There is pretty much nothing going on um, in terms of this. I'm just trying to work out on getting a bit of a roof over. Uh, this is, it's, it's feeling like a bit of a problem. I don't think it's really gonna be that much of an issue. Can I, can I try and fix this now? Let me have a look. Let me get this little workbench together. Let me get a stair. No, that's that's the one. Let, let me see if I can, because I'm trying to figure out how to attach this to this without taking out this. But I'm wondering if maybe I should just take it out. I'm thinking maybe I should, because that needs to go there. But the reason why I feel this blends well is because there would be something there. Let's give it a go and let's see, let's see how we feel about it, because it might not look so bad in the end. Well, I mean, it will if it's upside down. Or will it? Who knows? I don't. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's let's jump down and have a little look and see how bad it is. I made myself a little pond to jump into um, because I was falling off this thing non-stop. I died falling off a couple of times as well. I've died a lot and I'm kind of sad about that. But there you go. Is what it is. Yeah. Actually, no, that's not really that bad. I, I can go with that. I can go with that. That actually adds a little bit more detail and I think when there's one on the other side as well, that will work quite nicely. So I, I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. So, cool. What I'm going to do then, oh, before before I go off and do that one, I'm noticing a lot of this as well, these, these big cave areas. There's one here, there's one here. There's actually a sort of tunnel on the other side of this one, which is quite cool. I want to do something with them, so I kind of need some ideas. So if you guys have any cool ideas on that, please do let me know. But yes, I'm going to get working on some more of this, uh, more of this stuff here, and then I'll bring you back when things are happening. All right, so not a lot more in yet, but I figured I'd bring you back because I'm working on something a little bit more intricate, a little bit, uh, a little more easy to explain and less tedious, I guess. Uh, so I figured I'd bring you back for this. I just had to get some spruce because I've realized I haven't actually finished this bit yet. Is it spruce? Yes. 
Is that going to be enough? Let's let's give this a go. I actually need to get these planks all the way out. But I'm starting to place the roof and I'm starting to have a look around and see what we can do in terms of detail, making things a little bit more interesting, uh, especially because the problem with these builds now, I said this before, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen this uh, in your own sort of builds. Is that wall in the wrong place? It can't be in the wrong place. Or is this on top of the... No, it's not in the wrong place. Awesome. One thing I've said before, and I know some of you would have found this because I know a lot of you are into your building and stuff, uh, it is so much easier to make interesting and detailed builds that are really small. Now, when you go to make the best thing you've ever made in the world, the first thing people do is they try and go really, really big. Which, which is great. I mean, it works in the way that it helps it stand out um, and it's hard to miss. But it also hinders you a lot because it's very, very hard to add detail. Um, and if you have a smaller area, it's, it's much easier uh, to go with it. And something else that it definitely does uh, really well is it helps you get a much better atmosphere in the build as well. So as you enter the build, for example, in this case, it's quite big. There's, there needs to be a lot happening all of the time to make it look interesting everywhere. So you'll notice, for example, here... It's technically only two block types with, with the texture pack. Obviously, we've got this third one in here. However, over this side, there's some dirt and there's some cobble. Obviously, that's not supposed to be there, but immediately it looks a little bit more full and a little bit more interesting with things like the window. So when you have a large space, it can take a lot more effort and a lot more uh, blocks and things like that to really get things going. So one thing... Um, one thing I would recommend if you're looking to build something interesting is really to keep the size down. Um, I know that's going to sound really silly because I'm, I'm literally doing the opposite, but uh, we've made enough small houses. We've made enough small houses. Uh, if we take the one over by spawn as an example, if we have a quick think about that. Now, one of the reasons why it looks busy and interesting is because there's a lot of, a lot of things going on in such a small space. We've got good few different blocks everywhere. Um, we've got the leaves. We've got the roof blocks. We've then got fences and buttons and things like that. If we go back to Omniworld, I did the same thing with um, with the railings and the houses inside of our village. There is a lot going on all of the time, which is constantly taking interest. And that's one thing that we really need to, um, to try and fit into this space. So I figured I'd bring you in so we could kind of figure this one out together. Um, now let me get a little bit more of this roof in so we can... Uh, we can actually see what's going on. I'm gonna to need to get some more wood. I've been I've been farming trees like crazy. It just feels like it doesn't last five minutes, if that. I mean, there's only there's only a couple out there now, but I, f I can't cut these ones down. I feel too bad about cutting trees down. It's a very weird thing to say, isn't it? Um, I've got one plank and I've got some of these. All right, I tell you what, I'm gonna to need to get this uh, this top of the roof done, and then we will figure this bit out together. All right, I have done some things. I have dropped. The whole floor down a level. Um, I'm a little bit confused at, to how I've fit this. I'm not sure what I've done, so this bit will probably change a little bit as we go. But I have a few more little things to put in, but I figured now's a good time to come back. I've dropped the floor a level. I've added in the detail along the side. We've got the trap doors. We've got the stairs. We've even got this going on now. Some I feel like maybe we need a little bit more color up there. We're actually going to do something that might fix that in just a minute, though. And I'm also not too sure about this... I, I, stairs would make it very smooth, but uh, it would also be very expensive. Maybe if that was a separate color, that would work out well. Um, maybe we could try something like that. But uh, for now, I'm just going to kind of leave it alone. I was just going to work on this back wall. I've decided after having a little look around and, and just getting a better feel of this place, I've got a lot of this done on creative, um, but I'm going to avoid showing you that just for spoilers and stuff like that. Um, it would be cool to have something going on here. Now, I do need something to make these these bits here a little bit interesting, maybe make them blend a bit better. Um, unfortunately, with the trap doors here, I now can't do anything with that gap. These trap doors, though, man, they're awesome. I don't know how many of you know this, but they've changed a lot in 1.9. Uh, I don't know how to sort of explain this exactly, but it used to be you could only place them on a block and that was it. That was your only option. Otherwise, you just couldn't place them. You can now just put these things anywhere, um, which is absolutely awesome. So you can definitely make some really cool things out of these. Um, and no doubt we will when we come to building some sort of furniture and tables and other extra things in these smaller quarters of this place. But um, for now, I'm just having fun using these uh, just to add a little bit of texture to some of the blocks that we already have out. But let's, uh, let's have a little look at this section. Now, my first thought is to pull this all back one. Um, so kind of have this come in. So maybe placing those stairs wasn't the best idea just yet. 
Um, I'm going to need a bit of a floor in here as well. Uh, well. We'll figure this out as we go. I really am trying to take this sort of one piece at a time. It's going well though. Things are going okay, so I'm not feeling too bad about it. But let's get this dug up. Now, do we want to keep the stone on the floor? Hmm? You know, we could go with something like that. Hmm. That's not bad. That's not bad. That gives it an extra layer. But it doesn't need to take up too much. Cool. I'm happy with that. Let, let's kind of roll with that. Let's get a block in here. Do I have... We'll go with this one. This will be the one we use. Is it... Nope, it's not that way. Where's my axe at? Let's place it the other way around. Wait, which way did I even place that? Nobody even knows anymore. Is it here? Yes, that's where I would like this thing to be. Now let's get these in. Do I have any of the correct stairs? No, I only have these. I have enough to build some though. Let's build some. Let's get some of these. I would like to maybe make a little windows. Can I get it? Yep. Like this, maybe? Yes. Okay. So that adds something, maybe, I mean, that could come down one. Uh, again, I'm not too sure about this. This, maybe this feels like it needs to be a different block material. Maybe that would help. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of helping it break up. I feel like the single stair isn't doing too much either. So let's, um, let's maybe get some more stairs in. Where's my axe at? And then we will do one more thing before we leave. One thing I haven't actually played around with yet. Yeah, 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 I like that. Now, that, that there's going to need to blend in as well. Again, probably just some stairs there would work. But, uh, yes. One more thing that I haven't played around with is all of this stuff in here. So let me give this a go. Now, I'm not sure if I can actually use this one, because I think it's already kind of ruined. Um, but I want, I believe, 18 of these. Maybe. Possibly. It's not how it's done, is it? Okay, let's try this. I'll probably get the numbers wrong and then this will all be a mess. But uh, this is something I'll work out properly in, in the future, but for now, yes, that's exactly how many I wanted. Good stuff. I think it is anyway. The, the area I was working in was a little bit smaller. Yeah, not quite, but it will get us started for now. Um, I want to get some of these guys out in places because these will help us get some color into the build and a little bit of, uh, a little bit of extra decoration. Um, oh, I don't have any more reds. I don't have enough for more reds. I, I thought I was going to make more than that. That's fine. That's fine. We can kind of just leave it as it is for now. But yeah, this is helping to add some color. And you know what? That's doing more than enough. I will get a nice banner design for this castle. But I think this red and this gray is going to be the color scheme that we kind of run with. Obviously, we've got the uh, actual block palette that we're using. But the colors that we'll add in every every now and again just to help it pop out. That's, that's probably what we'll go with. Um, let me just see if I have... I've got these guys. Let's give these guys a go. Now, this might not make too much sense keeping oh, keeping the wood just here because that sort of helps detail and blend in on the other side where it's all going down. But here we don't really need that. So let's remove these and let's get these stairs in. Um, I've mostly got cobble. Is that going to be okay? Texture is kind of different. Nah, that works. That's fine. That's okay. Awesome. So there you go. You'll see, you see what I mean about it being quite a large area. It's kind of hard to detail. Now, I did actually have a plan to put in some detail across the floor as well. Um, but I feel like this episode is running on a little bit long. So I'm just going to kind of do that in the off time. I'm going to need to find a lot more wool. I'm going to need to find some sheeps to farm. But yes, that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. So again, thank you very much for your support on the last episode. I'm glad that you guys are as excited as I am to get this going. I've even forgotten my gates. I had so much more planned for this little piece. Let me throw everything together. Aha! That's what I was after. Yes! <laughs> I'm much happy with that. I may even leave these middle ones open. I'm not 100% decided on that yet. But you can still get up here and still get out. And the floor, this is the kind of pattern I'm going for. Now this does match the towers. We've even got some red and grey in the middle there. So I'm very, very happy with this. We'll need some lighting in here. But as I was saying uh, before I remembered I'd forgotten everything, Thank you very much for watching this episode, and I do hope you are enjoying this. This is so much fun for me. I'm really, really, really glad that you guys are uh, tuning in and watching this stuff. Of course, if you are new, do go ahead and click all the buttons below. Do what you need to do so that you don't miss the next episode. And yeah, I'll see you next time.